Hi y'all, welcome back to this windy day. I just got my order from Holland Bulbs and I ordered some garlic bulbs and also some onion bulbs. There's a hundred in this pack. And for the garlic, it's white California garlic and there's three um, heads here. So what you do is you individually take all of these little cloves off and plant those cloves individual. So that's what we're gonna do today. And some onions that kind of popped up and uh, where I didn't expect them to from last year already here. So I'm gonna go ahead and write this whole bed off and this is gonna be an onion and garlic bed this year. So there's some volunteer lettuce that came up, probably from birds. I'm just probably gonna feed that to the chickens and then we will plant all of this. Okay, so these are just like a yellow onion, which is our favorite onion. Um, if I had thought about it ahead of time a little bit better, I probably would have gotten some purple or white ones instead because the yellow onions are just a little softer and they won't like last as long in a root storage system like throughout the year but we go through onions so fast i don't know if it's going to be an issue for us anyway so you're supposed to plant them about two to three inches deep and i'm just making that space right now and about three inches apart So when you plant these, you want to plant it with the root side down, which is this side. And this is the top of the onion there. And they need to be three inches apart because you need to give them space to get as big as they're gonna get. So you wanna imagine a whole onion sitting next to another onion. That is how deep that you need to plant them. Okay, so the first row is done and I'm just going to have every row is going to be like three inches apart. Okay, I have to go in and get my hat and my selfie stick. <laughs> so yeah, onions, super easy. If you start them from the bulbs the way that I'm doing it, you it's almost foolproof, honestly, unless you have like the absolute wettest, wettest time where they can't ever dry out and they're not draining well because then they'll rot and so will so will um garlic but honestly it's like one of the easiest things and i'm going to plant 100 bulbs i'm going to get 100 onions um we use probably at least two to three onions a week so that will help offset the grocery bill a lot and if you think about buying like six onions for like four dollars or however much it is this bag of bulbs was like four or five dollars for a hundred so definitely worth it um yeah let's just get to planting i got a lot of planting to do times then you're done so all of that side of the bed is all onions and as you saw I kind of filled in some spaces right here with these onions that are all already established so I filled it all in and now starting from here to here we're gonna get our garlic in I'm gonna pull this out and set it aside with the other one that is a nice head of lettuce but since I didn't like this variety, neither did the family. It was a little bit bitter, so the chickens can have it. The first thing that you wanna do with your garlic to prepare it is just pull all the cloves apart. I'm trying to fill the 
just with one arm, so this will be fun. <laughs> okay, here we go. Alright, so you pull your clove out, I mean your bulb out, and then I just rub my hand on here to kind of expose the cloves. That is what you're going to plant, this right here. So once you get them all pulled apart, then you can drop them in. The spacing is going to be basically the same as the onions. So yep, you just got to undo all those first. has garlic and onions in it. She want a really nice good soaking. So I go over it like that. Come back to the beginning now. I do that about three times when I'm first um, watering it because the ground is pretty dry. After that, don't get so close to that. See how you're washing the onion okay. out? Hold it a little bit higher up if you can. There you go. Well, no, I meant like the one in front of you. <laughs> don't do it so close. You want to power wash it out of there. So yeah, when you're first starting and your ground is like dry, it, it's, you know, it hasn't rained here in a few weeks. So now if I just water it once a week, real good, once or twice, it should be good. And then the monsoons will start soon. You think it's still right, Mama? Yeah, come back to the very beginning a little bit more. But not so hard on the dirt, you know what I mean? Might want to back up to there. Watch out. Okay. looking for accuracy sometimes it's not the best <laughs> all right go all the way down once once more okay yeah go back and forth back and forth all right so thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you so that you're not afraid to plant garlic and garlic and onions Is it um sure here I'll go shut off the main line so yeah, pretty much like if you plant any kind of bulb, that goes for flowers as well. They're very, very hardy. So it's pretty hard to mess it up. I'm not saying it can't be done. And if there's other factors involved, then you might have a rough time. Like for instance, the time I planted a bunch of bulb flowers and my chickens tore them out of the ground and ate them. Okay, so I wasn't successful. but. Um, yeah, if you're just careful, protect them and all that, then you'll be good to go. I'll see you guys next time, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Little treat for you, chickens. <laughs>